Alright, so if you're watching this video, hopefully you are here because you want to learn how to build Android and you're not sure where to start. So I get this question a lot um, where people are like, wow, I really want to start building Android and I see you have a channel all about building Android, but I don't understand all these playlists, where to start, what should I do first? And so that's what I'm hoping to explain in this video real quick. Uh, I do highly recommend you watch the channel intro just because that will uh, explain a lot of things about the purpose of the channel and what exactly uh, we hope to learn by going through and building Android and custom kernels and custom ROMs. So a lot of good stuff there. I do highly recommend the channel intro. Please check that out. But if you're looking for where do I start when I'm actually ready to start building Android, what should I do? And uh, what I really recommend that you do is you head over to the playlist section and in the playlist is a lot of different playlists, okay? Uh, and so it can be a little confusing, like, well, do I need to watch this one or that one or this one first? So what I recommend that you do is the first thing is watch the Android What Is playlist. So this Android What Is playlist is going to explain a few things that are big buzzwords that are used while building Android that don't make any sense, okay? If these things do make sense to you, that's great, and you can just kind of move on. But a really important video in this series is the what are the Android compiling system requirements. So if you want to build Android on your computer, what kind of computer do you need? How much RAM does it need? How much CPU power do you need? All of that is explained here in this video. So definitely worth starting here and checking that out. Once you've watched this Android What Is, I highly recommend you go through this Building Custom ROMs playlist. This Building Custom ROMs playlist will show you how to build custom ROMs for several different phones ranging from Nugget to Oreo to Pi. Now I know you're thinking, well what about Q or 10? Uh, I do have another playlist just for that, but I recommend you start here because I start with the basics every time. I'm like, okay, how do we set up our building environment? How do we go ahead and download the source? How do we uh, add things to our manifest and we start building? How does that work? So this is a very good place to start. And if you don't have one of these phones, I still recommend you at least go through the videos Please watch all of it so you can understand it, but I recommend that you go ahead and download this source code and build just like I build the same devices, the same things, so you get the same output so you know your system is set up properly and also so you know how the flow of it works. And this will be very, very useful to you. After you've finished building custom ROMs, it may be that your phone already has custom ROMs available. And so you can just go ahead and start building some of those. Uh, another thing that you might want to do is some kernel development. And I do have kernel modification playlist here. And uh, it's very, very helpful after you've kind of understood how building a ROM works. We can look at how we build the kernel and how do we do research and how can we add governors, overclock the CPU and GPU and double tap to wake and all of those things. But also included in here is the kernel upstreaming and mainlining uh, video. Very handy, very useful uh, series to watch through. But it may also be that your phone does not have its own custom ROMs built for it already and you need to start from scratch and you're like well how do I even do that well that's great we have some uh, playlists here for devices from scratch I recommend starting with the team win recovery project tree from scratch if your device does not have a team win recovery project tree this is a great place to start because you need that team win recovery project so you can flash your custom ROMs so you would go ahead and go to this playlist and in this playlist you can see that we do a little bit of research and then I go ahead and go through the process of building team win recovery project tree from scratch using other phones that are out there that are similar as guides and we compile all that information together and put that into something that's useful. And there's also included some templates for device trees from scratch, like literally templates if you're going to build it completely from scratch and there's no other similar phones out there to borrow from. This is a great place to start. Once you have that Team Win Recovery project uh, tree created and it is working and you've got Team Win Recovery Project working for your phone, then you can go ahead and move on to creating a device tree from scratch where we uh, 
make device trees out of nothing, but we take looks at other uh, phones and other ways that they're doing it, and we use that as guides, and we kind of put that all together. Very handy. Uh, explain things about the device make files, pixel densities, and how we extract our vendor files from our phone. Very, very useful material here. Uh, I really hope that uh, you can gain from that. And it may also be that you need a little bit of help with some some other basic things like for instance how do I set up Linux and what do I do to use Linux alright so I have some Linux 101 uh, playlists here that just explain the basics of command lines and how you run shell scripts and do those sort of things very very uh, introductory level to help you out it even uh, covers using the graphical user interface and then finally I do have uh, videos for using GitHub and GitLab and I cover things like using Git Kraken and a few other uh, tools that you can use for that and how you can publish things. So those are the main core videos of how to go through and build Android and those are the places you would start. Um, there are other playlists in here which are very very useful for instance if you're going to use VirtualBox I have a whole series on just setting up VirtualBox and virtual machines and even covering a few problems that you might run into on there um, there's also a video series for XDA and some etiquette and just kinda of help you out with how you post your own ROMs and how you uh, interact with uh, other people there if you need some help with that uh, and then there's building alternative recoveries which is uh, pretty interesting if uh, you are thinking about setting up Red Wolf or Orange Fox or um, some other recoveries other than Team Win Recovery Project this is definitely a good place to to head over and take a look at that and of course uh, all sorts of videos in there that are definitely worthy of checking out but uh, I just wanted to cover the basics where do I start we start with this Android what is and then we move to building custom ROMs so that's my recommendation if you're just getting started head over there I do recommend you watch all the videos they're really really great because uh, they do cover a lot of material and I do have videos with troubleshooting examples uh, and uh, another series called Errors Common or Not. It's uh, every time I get an error in some other build or some other uh, video, I link it in here as well. So if you're just looking for errors and you're like, man, I have this error, maybe he's seen it before, you can go to these playlists for troubleshooting examples for how to figure it out or Errors Common or Not to look at errors that I've already had and put on here as well. So please check those out and uh, hopefully that'll help you get started in how to build Android.